how much hair should contact the string? For quieter playing, further from the bridge, you might want less hair and play on the edge of the hair. And for deeper in the string playing nearer the bridge, you might want to play with flatter hair so that the wood of the bow is more directly above the hair. But playing in very high positions, you actually have to avoid full hair very often because otherwise it covers too wide an area of the string in proportion to the short string length. If you can imagine playing a note this high, the width of the hair is about a fifth or sixth of this distance, whereas, of course, the width of the hair on an open string is very, very little. A remarkably common problem is that players tilt the bow over towards the fingerboard in forte playing, which then makes the wood of the bow contact the string, because as you push down, the actual wood touches the string. The trouble is that because this happens constantly, they cease to notice the scraping sound that it causes. Look at the wood of the bow to see if there are any scratches on it caused by its contact with the string. You know, it's a sobering thought when you realize that when each mark on the bow was created, it caused an audible scraping sound. Attacking the string from the air at the heel it's often best, and the most natural thing anyway, not to use all the hair, otherwise the sound may easily be impure, and you'll get that instead of that. Much safer on the tilt. Here's a very helpful exercise which sensitizes you to the tilt of the bow. This isn't one of the five tone exercises, but a little extra. This was one of Capet's favorites in which you alternate flat hair and tilted, beginning with one pattern in a bow, then two, three, and so on. Okay, so let's do it starting with a tilted bow in the lower half. Yeah, so you want to be tilted and flat, and then tilted and flat, and see if you can sustain pretty much throughout. That's great, lovely. Really solid in the string despite what you're doing, lovely. Now do two in one bow. Yeah, so, so uh, tilt, flat, tilt, flat. That's great. Lovely. You could do three, four, five, six, maybe even up to eight if you want. Now let's do it the other way around. Start flat in the lower half and then tilt it in the upper half. Yeah. What's quite nice is to make it, make it solid. Um, wait. Like that. Even though you're turning the bow, keep the sound. Brilliant. And feel the string, even though you're doing all this turning. Yes, stay in there. Now, do two in one bow. So you didn't need to stop, but never mind. Lovely. Keep it solid as far as possible. Great. Lovely. Lovely.